Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, Bit Out of Breath, because I've literally just run, well I haven't run, well that's not that right, um, been hop, skipped and I jumped over to the co-op which is near me and collected a parcel today which is here um because i've got a little bit of a fred perry haul for you today but first off if you're new hi welcome my name is matt welcome to my channel please take a moment to subscribe if you're not already if you like a haul like we're doing today like i'm shot with me too good to go bad grocery haul all that kind of video um just click that button down below and ring my bell to be notified of when i upload and excuse my hair it is very long i'm getting it cut tomorrow when I think I'll put this video up but as I said today's video is going to be a Fred Perry haul now <laughs> I was on the Fred Perry website and they were having a sale um and I think they still might be by the time I upload this but I did pick up a few things I could literally pick bought everything on the website um in the sale section um but decided not to do that um but I have got a haul today I would say look at how as you can see, I did buy a pair of shoes. This is how the parcel came to me. Last time I ordered, it had like a proper like Fred Perry bag. Like, not bag, but like the actual, you know, plastic it was in. It had Fred Perry logo on it and everything. This time it didn't. I ordered this on the last Friday in July, I think. But it was very late in the day, like nine o'clock at night. Um, and then it came the next Thursday, so nearly a week. However, that's not working days. So they didn't ship it until Tuesday. So it came with every or Hermes, as it used to be called. But I'm not very really impressed with this situation. She literally handed it to me in the shop because I always get my parcels delivered to, if I can, to the co-op near me because it's literally down the road, literally a two second walk and I can pick them up there just in case I'm not in or anything because there's only one of me living here. Um, yeah, so not too impressed with that. Let's get on into it. I might as well show you. Um, I can just open it like this and I'll show you the first pair. Well, the only pair of shoes. I could have bought another pair and was tempted, but these ones were the cheaper ones. I do want to see. Let me just take the other things out because I'm hoping... Let me just take this down. I want to see if this has the price. Of them. It did this. Uh, yes, it did. I don't have the um, original prices of these to hand. One of them I do know off the top of my head, but I will be putting the prices, if not down below, I will be putting them on the screen. Um, or the other way around, you know. Um, so the first thing I picked up with this pair of trainers in this box. Um, I've never had Fred Perry trainers, trainers or shoes or anything before. I got these for £28.50 and I think, from what I remember, they're originally £95. But let's open together. Um, if you want to see the SKU style number, all of that, that is there. It's got Fred Perry written there, Fred Perry written there, a little peephole. Um, open like this. Ooh. I know, <gasps> another white, a pair of white trainers, which I don't need, but these I could not say no for £28.50, are you freaking kidding me? Um, so this is what they look like, mm, they've got like a bit of a mark on the front, I suppose, and they are a bit, okay, and they are white on the bottom. These are leather as well, so never had Fred Perry White trainers before. My brother has, but not, he's always had, they've always done like these, I don't know how to describe them, like very thin sole canvas, very close to the ground. These are not like that. These are more of a tennis shoe, I suppose. Although I don't really think you would want to play tennis in them, but they are just white like this. They have got the Fred Perry, well, just the Fred Perry there. Very minimal branding really, apart from on the top here. And it's just like a classic white shoe, white trainer. Nothing even on the back. And they did come from the Fred Perry shop. Online, Fred Perry online. So yeah, these look nice. I have obviously got the other one as well. Like this. Got them in a size six. That is what my size is. So 
Hopefully they'll fit. I'm not going, well, I will try them on, obviously. I think these were quite, would be quite good for work because I am wearing more, I am wearing the Ralph Lauren ones I bought at the beginning, at like Christmas to work. I've worn them like three or four times now to work and I have had some compliments on them. Um, but these are like even less branded than those because they've got quite a big like horse there, although it's like within the thing, but I think these are quite, these would be really good for work in the respect of they're even more minimally branded than the Ralph Lauren ones I've got. Um, and the Ralph Lauren ones are not all white, they have got some cream on. I'm just gonna put these somehow. Ooh. Uh, like Petra, how do I get them back in? Back in the box. Lots of rustling, sorry. So those are those, I will try them on for myself, basically. I don't wanna put that there. I haven't got anywhere to put anything anymore. Right, the next thing I saw and was quite kind of why I did the order, I first saw this a while ago and I was nearly contemplating spending the full price. This full price was £60, I got it for 18 It was when I first saw the sale and didn't place an order, like I put like loads of things in my basket, came to like 300 quid. I was like, oh, no, I can't do that. Um, um, it wasn't as reduced as this, so I'm glad I've hold it off. But this is a scarf, so it's completely the wrong time of year for this. But I just could not. For £18, which I know for a scarf, to be fair, for like a nice scarf, that's not too bad of a price. It's better, um, worse than, it's not like Primark prices, but this isn't a Primark scarf. This is a Fred Perry scarf, which I'm going to have to, I'll show you it on when I try the next thing on. Um, I but I think it was £60 originally. And it's gonna be love it or hate it because I showed it to my friend and he was like, mm. but it literally is just a tartan scarf, but it says Fred Perry on it. Now it feels nice and soft um, and it is quite large, but I mean, once you have it on, you aren't gonna really see the whole Fred Perry, but I could not. I, do, I really liked it. I saw it last year. Didn't obviously want to pay full price for it because I'm not paying £60 for a scarf. But 18 I will fold that up better than that in a minute. But And I'll show you it on later in a minute. But I could not resist. And then the last thing I bought was this, which is, again, not seasonally appropriate, although we aren't having the best summer at the moment, really. Um, and it is August. Oh, it's falling on the floor. Right. This was how much was this i got this this was a bit more expensive at 62.50 but i think originally it was i want to say 125 and it is the let me see what does it say on here that scarf by the way was called the oversized branded jacquard scarf and this is a reverse fleece back over shirt and it's i just got it in all black and i will show you this on now um all black with just the logo here and it is like a nice it's like a fleece but it's quite thin actually um which really works for me because and it does say it was i think it's an a bit of a relaxed fit as well from what i remember so i'm really hoping it's not too small because i got it in a small they have this in two colors they had it in black like this which i'll show you on in a minute and i have it in like a beige colour which is actually really nice. It has got pockets here which is really good and it's got two, has it got two? Yeah, two pockets on the front. So yeah, I will show you that one now. So this, you see me, um, is in the screws of the week, squeaky floor. This is the shirt on. Now shirts are always going to be so long in my arms but I'm sorry that it's literally a computer right next to you so if you hear like that kind of noise then that's that but sh they are going to be always a bit long on the arms on me, I've got short arms, but this is so nice, excuse my belly, um, this is really nice, it is a small, I got it in a small, but I can do the buttons up and everything, it is like going to be fine for um, like autumn and I could probably, I'm going to get away with wearing it in winter because I'm such a hot person, the logo is here and I don't know if you'll be able to see on the buttons it has got the logo as well um and i am wearing shorts but 
and it has got pockets here. This is so nice. Really nice, um, and like in necks and things like over shirts can be this price, to be fair. And it is a really nice, you can feel the quality of it. It's not like super thick either, but not, it's nice inside. You probably are to see the button better there. I don't know, it won't focus on it. But yeah, this is going to be nice. And so if let me just undo the buttons, I probably wouldn't wear it done up anyway. I'd probably wear it like this. You could probably get away with wearing a hoodie maybe underneath it if you wanted to but with the scarf I showed you earlier as you can see can you see red very oh let me there we go I could wear that over the top just have to position it a bit better maybe i don't know but or underneath or something this is not the weather to be doing this but um i've probably got it all the way the wrong way around really um because you can see a lot of white on the back like that maybe as you can see when you've got it on i mean that it looks like letters but i don't think you'd be able to tell really um really nice yes so that is both of these on so yeah that is everything i picked up in the fred perry sale only three items but i could brought i could have bought so much more literally and i might buy a few more things i know but we are not mm, i might if they still got some in a couple of weeks i might have to when i get some money <laughs> but because there's so much nice stuff and they've got some really nice trainers as well and I really do not need another pair and I know I did not need another pair of white trainers but I'm literally throwing one pair of white trainers I'm not going to throw them away but I'm going to put them away as in they are the stuff inside coming off and everything the Zara ones and I have got probably I've got four pairs of white trainers though but two of them are more nicer as in the Zara um Ralph Lauren and now these ones but yes let me know if you have picked up anything in the Fred Perry sale down below I'd love to hear your thoughts um but other than that thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're not ready please take a moment to subscribe it's free no cost to you and I shall see you in the next one bye Hustle out, hustle every single day